Countdown clock resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. The sequence has been initiated. Ground launch sequencer has been initiated for today's launch countdown. OTC, configure fuel cell essential bus source switches. Is it connecting essential buses? T minus eight minutes and counting. And that's complete. T-minus 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Coming up on retraction of the orbiter access arm. This arm can be extended in just a few seconds if necessary. T-minus 6 minutes, 45 seconds. All is quiet here in the firing room during the final minutes of the countdown. Just a few minutes, Pilot Weatherby will be given a go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre-start. Recorder. Recorder started. OTC, perform APU pre-start. As APU pre-start, send work. Pilot Weatherby configuring switches in the cockpit to put the APUs in the ready-to-start configuration. Activation of the APUs will come at T-minus five minutes. They, these auxiliary power units provide hydraulic power to the orbiter. And APU pre-starts complete three great talkbacks. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds. Orbiter's flight recorders have been started. They collect measurements of shuttle systems performance during flight for playback after the vehicle is in orbit. Minus five minutes. Yeah, let's go for orbiter APU start. We have a go for APU start. APU start. APU start, send work. CDR reconfigure heaters. CDR, we'll go. Commander Brannestein has been asked to reconfigure the orbiter's heaters for launch.
T minus four minutes and counting. Sequence four. Final purge of the main engines now underway. The chamber coolant valves on the main engines are being opened to prepare for engine start. At the one minute point in the count, an, indi an engine ready indication will be given. A profile test of the orbiter's aero surfaces has started. Main engines now being gimbaled will be put in the ready to start position. minus three minutes and counting. All systems are go for launch at this time. Just a few minutes away from the launch of Columbia on a 10-day extended mission with five crew members. PLT OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Roger, that's in work. Orbiter test conductor asking that pilot weather be clear the caution warning memory system. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. Now retracting the gaseous oxygen vent hood away from the vehicle, back to the launch position. T minus two minutes, the flight crew will be instructed to close their visors. And question and warning memory is cleared. Copy and flight clip crew, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow and have a good flight. T-minus one minute, 57 seconds. We've had a go for liquid hydrogen pressurization to flight level. T-minus one minute, 45 seconds. Just two minutes away from launch. One minute, 30 seconds. Minus one minute, 15 seconds. T minus one minute and counting. T minus 45 seconds. T minus 31 seconds. Let's go for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T minus 20. T-minus 15, T-minus 10, 9, we have a go for main engine start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia, a new decade of space flight begins. Descending from the tower, hand over to Houston complete, roll program initiated. Roger roll, Columbia. Good roll confirmed as Columbia heads out on the uh, proper launch azimuth for the race to catch LDEP. Good roll confirmed. Now throttling down through 102% for the passage through maximum dynamic pressure. They'll take the engines down to 65%. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells. Three engines now at 65%. Range two nautical miles.
now throttling back up, three at 104. Columbia, go with throttle up. Roger, Houston, go with throttle up. Relative velocity, 2,100 feet per second, downrange seven nautical miles. Now 12 nautical miles downrange, velocity 3,200 feet per second. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. 15 nautical miles downrange now. Standing by for SRB staging. SRB separation confirmed. Downrange 32 nautical miles. Now at 4,400 feet per second, 40 miles downrange. Performance nominal. Columbia, performance nominal. Roger, Houston, nominal performance. Columbia, two engine, Ben Greer. Roger, Houston, two engine, Ben Greer. Columbia can now make the Ben Greer transatlantic site if one engine should fail. Now downrange 56 nautical miles, velocity 4,900 feet per second. All systems clean aboard Columbia. Now downrange 80 nautical miles, velocity 5,700 feet per second. Ascending now at a rate of 1,100 feet per second. Now uh, about 95 nautical miles downrange. Standing by shortly for the negative return call. Meanwhile, ECOM reports uh, a good uh, flash evaporator system has uh, kicked down aboard Columbia. Now, uh, 121 nautical miles downrange from Kennedy Space Center. Columbia, negative return. Negative return. Roger, Houston, negative return. Means Columbia can no longer perform a return to launch site aboard. Three engines uh, still up and running at 104%. Uh, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Standing by for the press to ATO call. Columbia, press to ATO, select banjo. Roger, pressing the ATO, selecting banjo. Columbia could now press to an abort to orbit with a loss of a single engine. Downrange 170 nautical miles, velocity 8,400 feet per second. Climbing about 400 feet per second now. Five minutes, 15 seconds, mission elapsed time. Uh, three good uh, main engines up at 104%, downrange 223 nautical miles. Relative velocity, uh, 10,190 feet per second. Columbia, Droop Banjul, 109. Roger, Houston. Call means Columbia could make the Banjul landing site with a loss of two engines uh, by pressing the third to 109%. Uh, currently three good shuttle main engines, three good fuel cells, three good APUs, 283 nautical miles downrange now, climbing at a rate of uh, about uh, Columbia, 90 feet per second. Press to Miko call means... 
Coast, Tomiko means Columbia can go to uh, main engine cutoff conditions. Columbia, single engine bad jewel, 104. Roger, Houston. That call means Columbia can make Van Jewel with uh, one engine remaining at 104%. Now 360 nautical miles downrange. Columbia, single engine press 104. Roger. That call indicates Columbia can make uh, main engine cutoff conditions with one engine uh, at 104 percent. Downrange 450 nautical miles now. Good navigation reported aboard the ship. Miko predicted at uh, 8 minutes 32 seconds mission elapsed time. Downrange 500 nautical miles, velocity 18,300 feet per second. Now at the 23K mark, 23,000 feet per second, uh, engines throttling back for the 3G limiting. All looking good, 645 nautical miles downrange, velocity now uh, 23, 24,172 feet per second inertial. Climbing 248 feet per second, downrange 697 nautical miles. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff confirmed.